<laughs> Hello. My name's a a April. You might be wondering what all this high-tech gear is. Well, this is for my new survival show. It's how to survive natural disasters. You get to watch and enjoy while I go through the natural disasters myself. Through my struggles, you will learn how to deal with them. This time, it's going to be a major snowstorm. I just found out about this snowstorm today. It's going to happen during the weekend. Bron's mom was buying a whole bunch of winter boots because of it. So, obviously, I have to teach you how to live through it. So, first, I'll show you the gear you'll need. The first piece of high-tech survival gear you're going to need is goggles. These goggles will help keep those crazy strong winds that can get up to 7,000 miles per hour out of your eyes. Another important thing to do to lower your chance of death during a snowstorm is have a good hat or two. Having a couple good hats handy is important for your survival during a snowstorm. Next thing you're going to need to ensure your survival is scarfs. I was just wearing both of these underneath my necklace. Another thing you're definitely going to want is a lot of food. Make sure the food collection happens before the first snowflake of the snowstorm. So, since I'm already prepared, moving on. You're going to want a lot of fires slash heaters all over the room. Yes, that many. What do you think I have? Oh, it's on. You're also going to want a survival pack, you know, just in case. Here's mine. You're also going to want a snow scooter, you know, for a quick getaway if necessary. You're going to need a bed equipped with several blankets and at least three teddy bears. I have four just to be safe. I almost forgot to mention, it's never too over the top to have a couple of extra. Behind the survival pack, I have my extra On the scar. snow scooter, I have my extra extra scar. Here's my extra survival kit. Here's my extra extra survival kit. Here's my extra 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 Here's my extra 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 survival kit. Attached to the scooter, just in case. Here are my extra goggles. Here are my extra extra goggles. Here are my extra 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 goggles. Oh, and, re and this purple bag right here. You know, the one containing the extra, extra survival kit is for holding food, you know, in case I need to make a quick getaway because the ice is coming. It's never too over the top, like I said. Mm, hot chocolate. One of the last things you're going to need for supplies is a knitting kit. You're going to want to learn how to knit beforehand, you know, in case you need to um, knit any more sweaters or scarves. That was all the supplies you're going to need for your survival, but, like I said before, I'm going to be surviving through this snowstorm on camera for you guys to see, in case you ever need to survive through one, of course. Don't delay, here's a link to the video right here. Each day of the huge storm, I'm going to be uploading another episode of the survival. It's going to be kind of like a reality show, sort of. The episodes will come out daily, and I guess we can we can survive the storm together. Remember, oh, you're gonna need to get a lot of sleep before the snowstorm. You might have to stay awake for several nights and days. Learning Morse code is optional too, in case you need to communicate over long distances. That's all for today on Surviving with April. See you next time. Hmm. Hello. Well, this is my dad. This is... Okay, take out the part with the bed. So the first piece of high-tech gear, these goggles will help keep those crazy winds that can get up to 7,000. <laughs>